The full screens also to show you um, because we did hear from Schmengies. Um, one of the owners had posted on Facebook last night. Also, one of the owners from Just In Time Recreation. But my heart is crushed. This was a statement on Facebook this morning. I am at a loss for words. In a split second, your world gets turned upside down for no good reason. We lost great people in this community. How can we make any sense of this? Sending out prayers to everyone. And we know from their Facebook page, they were having an industry night there. They were mm -hmm. inviting um, anyone in the bar and restaurant industry to come out and get 25% off. To support each other. To support them, yes, and support each other. And then Just In Time Recreation, formerly Spare Time, um, they had said, none of this seems real, but unfortunately, it is. We are devastated for our community and our staff. We lost some amazing and wholehearted people from our bowling family and community last night. No words to fix this or make it better. Um, certainly, certainly difficult for them. And, and, and we now know from police this is where it started. Correct. That was the first scene. Right. Um, 656 it, is when the calls first came in from there. Right. 12 minutes later, uh, 708 is when they got, as they were at that scene at the bowling alley, um, they got calls that there was a shooting at, at the bar, um, which was about four miles away. Mm. Um, so there was a lot un unfolding very quickly last right. night. And still, and still both of those scenes are active. Um, still, we have, you know, the